the topic of drinks, uh, thank you for uh, getting the mystery group on the... On the oh, wasn't that awesome? Yeah. 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 Some really good beers, too. <laughs> mystery group, my friend. <laughs> Your the question is more beer, please. <laughs> Not on this trip. Um, that was actually something that we first. <clears throat> excuse me. Eric Myers, who owns Mystery <laughs> Brewing, approached us. I think after the second cruise, he is a sea monkey, and uh, said, "Hey, I buy a brewery. I can make beer for you." And we said, "Yeah," <laughs> and it turns out. Can I interrupt for just a moment? I have to pee really badly now that we're talking about beer, so I'm going to go do that while you're asking okay, this question. Sure. Uh, I'm a professional entertainer, everybody. <laughs> it turns out that having a cruise line um, bring a, a completely unknown and not affiliated with major distributors uh, beer on board is not an easy thing to do. And the first year, we did not have the co administrative capacity to get it done. Uh, this year, we were able to do that, working with some of our friends at Royal Caribbean. We're so glad we were able to. Um, yes, that's, that's interesting. We are hoping that we'll be able to do it again next year. And now that we know that that it gets slurped up like it's water after you know 40 years in the desert, uh, we would certainly bring more for next year and hopefully also be able to make it available for sale at our events in addition to, uh, to just having it as sort of a, a nice little surprise thing uh, for the opening cocktail party. <laughs>